What's up, Chicago, and welcome to episode eight, numero ocho of the Shy to Glance YouTube channel, where we cover all things Chicago related. This episode is gonna be packed. We're doing everything from wine tastings to rum festival to restaurant debuts. We have a super packed schedule. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe and make sure to give us a little thumbs up at the end. Also, make sure to follow us over on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Shy at a Glance. Well, first up, do you love art? Chicago is such a great place for the art community. I actually attended two art festivals. One is called Expo Chicago, and the other is called The Other Art Fair. Let's check them out. So there's a lot of guests in right here. The Other Art Fair is a global gathering of creative thinkers, game changers, and pleasure seekers sharing emerging talent and unforgettable experiences. Set against the backdrop of the world's biggest cities, each of their fairs is different. The fair combines boundary-pushing yet always affordable artworks with immersive installations, performances, and a few curious encounters. The result is an inspiring, advocative, inclusive, and fun event that reframes how art can be perceived and creates lasting connections between artists and artist lovers. As the only global art fair dedicated to representing independent artists, since launching in 2011, the other art fair has worked with over 3,000 artists from more than 20 countries and now hosts 12 fairs each year across the UK, US, and Australia. Meet the Inglewood Arts Collective, named Chicago Reader's Best Art Group three times. As they invite you into their living room, immerse yourself in a diverse range of engaging activities that pay homage to the vibrant spirit of the Inglewood neighborhood. Stop by their space to take part in workshops, spanning beat making, print making, and mosaics. The Inglewood Arts Collective is a dedicated group passionate about amplifying and supporting artists and creative initiatives that uplift their community. The other art fair showcases works by over 110 talented artists, all of whom have been specifically selected by an expert-led selection committee. The fair provides art lovers with the opportunity to discover and buy art directly from the very best independent artists. The other art fair features independent artists who aren't represented in a gallery at approachable price points. The fair is a week-long adventure for the senses, from immersive installations to performances, DJs, and of course food and drink. There's something for everyone. Make sure to check out the other art fair next year. Expo Chicago takes place every year at Navy Pierce Festival Hall. The art fair welcomes more than 170 leading galleries from 29 countries and 75 cities to Chicago. Expo Chicago showcases leading contemporary and modern art galleries alongside a diverse and inventive program of talks, on-site installations, and public art initiatives. Tony Carmen, president and director of Expo Chicago said, the fair contributes greatly to Chicago's rich culture community and its longstanding connection to the city makes it an important convening moment for art patrons, curators, and collectors in the United States. The 2024 edition presented its core gallery section alongside focused presentations and projects. I prefer to head to Expo Chicago opening night. It's a little bit of a hefty price tag, but it's less crowded and it's a seen and be seen type of atmosphere. Make sure you bookmark this event for next year. The link for more details is in the description of this video. Really great pieces of artwork. So now we got in our fill of art shows. Expo Chicago and the other art fair are two great art events to mark your calendar for next year. Up next, we're actually heading to a wine tasting. It's hosted by Eva 10, and they're inviting us to a special wine tasting at the City Winery on Randolph Street. Eva 10 is the U.S. distributor for So Grapes Premium Portfolio of Portuguese Wines. Today? Some delicious wines here. I'm going to start you off with Papa Figos. Okay. Papa Figos is from various regions in the Douro in Portugal, upper lower part of the uh, Douro, and then also Douro Superior. And the whole 
idea behind this wine is to give you flavor profiles from each of those three distinct regions. Okay. Some high elevations, some low elevations, some very lush vines, some very harsh, low production vines. Uh, and then the Papa Figos is the bird that's on the label. It's a migratory bird. It's an Oriole that loves to come in during harvest and just drive the winemakers crazy, right? <laughs> so we had to pay tribute to them. There is some oak aging on this and some batonage, so you really get some nice complexity to it. And this one was around 100 a bottle. About 100 bucks a bottle, yep. So, port's a complicated category. I laugh that it's very Portuguese because we have aged tawnies we also got to taste new offerings from Sedamon Porto, the world-renowned port category leader since 1970. Cheers! Got the munchies. 420 just passed and we went to check out Chiba Hut in Wicker Park. It's a cannabis-themed toasted sub shop, a great place to go to with your friends for good vibes and good food. Note there's no marijuana items on the menu, just inspired by them. There's so many different sub combinations to choose from, and they even have a secret stash menu with over 30 subs. Chiba Hut names its sandwiches after popular strains like White Widow and Northern Lights. Look at all the combinations. My favorite was a Sticky Icky, which is like an adult peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and we got ours drizzled with honey on top. I think I forgot to mention, everything is homemade, from the subs to the sauces to the desserts. I love the Rice Krispie treats. And there's a new cookie, which is with lemon and blueberry. So yummy. Grab a cocktail. There's several to choose from and various Kool-Aid flavors. Head on over to Chiba Hut to cure your cotton mouth and tell them Shy at a Glance sent you. From the Munchies to Fine Dining, we went to check out Devant. Devant is open last month. It's a new steakhouse and supper club experience located in Chicago's River North neighborhood. I love the decor. The 150-seat, multi-level space lends itself to many experiences that change and elevate with each visit. I went for an intimate media cocktail reception. We were treated to a private sommelier wine and small bites pairing. People are going to notice that that's a pretty even blend across the board. And the idea of the champagne being the house is that I wanted to work with everything. I wanted to be really leaning into the crisp the bright, the clean flavors. So, all that. So many delicious pairings. We started with oysters on the half shell, pink moon oysters to be exact. Then we moved on to the cedar salmon broiled with the balsamic glaze. And we ended the pairing with a delicious bacon chop. Devon pays homage to private supper clubs and art deco music halls with a modern vibe that encourages guests to indulge in their curiosity. Later we headed to the top level for more bites and to enjoy the live band. Great place to go with friends for a lovely date night. Gay House Cafe has been in existence for 59 years. It's one of Chicago's most beloved restaurants and a traditional fondue restaurant. Gay House is running a promotion from now until May 31st called Discover Fondue. For first time diners, enjoy a complimentary cheese and chocolate fondue when you order a premier dining experience. Number two of them are spicy. Uh, the white corner on this end is a Jardinera aioli. And then we have a creamy horseradish, I'm so sorry, back that up. Creamy horseradish, white and jardinera aioli and orange. And then we have fresh dill and a honey mustard. This is a barbecue sauce that has pineapple and onion cut up inside of it. A melted garlic butter, chimichurri, and teriyaki in the last corner there. This is your rescue spoon, which will help you recover any floaters that might fall in on your pot at any given point. So that's just hanging out until you need it. Um, every table we test the oil by dropping in a potato and then we'll talk about your cook times. Such a unique dining experience. Great to go with friends, but they're really known for being a romantic date spot. So many proposals happen here. The dessert course is one of my favorites. Belgian chocolate fondue served with marshmallows for roasting, fruit, and other delectable treats for dipping. Decaf. 
did I mention there's live music? Make your reservations now. Cheers. I know you're super thirsty. We're actually gonna be heading to Rum Festival. Let's go check it out. I absolutely love this event. I always discover new rums that I love, and I'm sure you will too. <laughs> Yeah, we were up on the stage. Yes, yeah, yeah. What are you going to try today? That's got a painkiller. That's got, got a, a pain lot of Mai Tai mixed up with our Navy Raw. No, let me try the Mai Tai. We tried rum after rum from different regions. This is a really great festival to discover new rums and to walk out with some favorites. I know I definitely did. Next up, we did some educational seminars. which includes um, Plant Array, formerly known as Plantation, also Cane Rock, um, and we are importers for USA Ferran with Moni Musk, which is present here. We got Martha Miller from the NRJ in, in town today with use molasses base as well, almost exclusively. We have started playing around with sugar cane juice distillate. Um, a lot of folks, a lot of production in the West Indies especially, we are experimenting with sugar cane juice when previously we were doing molasses only. Next up, we attended a seminar hosted by the founder of Chicago Rum Fest. Santiago de Cuba, to be exact, in the bottle now of the Superior, they changed the label on the bottom to, to say Santiago de Cuba, made in Puerto Rico, actually in Puerto Rico, 1936. Bacardi family opens up a distillery in Puerto Rico. It's actually not the first distillery that Bacardi opened. It's the second, the first one they, they opened was actually in Mexico. Oh, she's in 1931. Five years <laughs> so, but I told her, I that has know. become a holds up to cocktails. One of the important things, and Federico has just left me and let me to take over. And I like this because I, I can talk. We can talk all day. And I have a lot of stuff up here that I love to share, but I don't know where I'm going. This is true. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to go at any, at any given moment. Um, but Puerto Rican rum is a very important category, and not just because I am Puerto Rican. I grew up watching how it was done in Puerto Rico. I grew up drinking rum. I mean, it's in our, it's in our blood. Um, I love all rum. I love rum from all regions. I can appreciate the nuance. I can appreciate the importance and what every type of rum brings. Being honest, me, myself, I love Jamaican rum. I cannot drink Jamaican rum all day, but I love Jamaican rum. I'll have me a couple of, couple of drinks of rum in there. That's so good. Now this is the brand that I drank well, the whole time I was in Colombia. Rum Festival was a great time. Mark your calendar for next year. Now at the end of Jam Packed Episode 8. That was so much fun. We covered so many things. Stay tuned. We have the National Restaurant Show coming up, the NRA Show. We have a Tourism Summit coming up. We have so much more. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. And thank you for tuning in to the Shia to Glance YouTube channel. I'll see you the next episode. Bye. Thank you.